All right, what's up, guys? We're going to go ahead and jump in today. Uh, so today we're going to talk about shading uh, objects. So go ahead and open up a new project. I believe the most recent release was the uh, version 9 of, uh, of Event Resolve. So we're going to go ahead, flip open Fusion. And uh, so if, you haven't, if you're working in Fusion and you're using Blender at the same time, then you are probably well aware of this awesome 3D uh, library. Um, and so the model we got today, it was a 3D scan of a car. <clears throat> so just type in 3D scan, car, whatever. Uh, and then you will get, you can download, I believe this is the one we're doing today. And you can download all sorts of cars. Uh, for some reason, most of them are wrecked. So that's always exciting. So there's Sketchfab, amazing. Um, so what we are going to do is go ahead and let's make sure I actually save it. Because stuff. There it is. <clears throat> okay, cool. So open up 3D scan cards. Uh, grab your, the OBJ. Go ahead and whip it into Fusion. Just like that. Whoop. Have our media out. Go ahead add a merge 3D. Then add a render. Uh, pipe that render to the media out. Grab that FBX mesh. Go ahead and shrink this down and transform there's another scale right here we can just make these smaller uh, that person talking in the background is my brother he is talking loud and uh to his girlfriend so that is always exciting <laughs> okay go ahead and add a 3d camera perfect uh, in case you forgot how to navigate slash move around uh shift scroll is uh, how you rotate your screen just scrolling will like uh just kind of move it around and then command scroll will zoom in and out okay perfect transform go ahead pull on the down on the y axis for y, y axis right now actually no just stick it wherever you want <clears throat> i mean this is your your thing okay then i'm going to add a spotlight perfect go ahead let's see the shaded view of it perfect and then Let's go ahead, point the light down. One, two seconds, where'd it go? Dude, I really know. That's what's up. Okay, perfect. I'm actually going to rotate uh, this card a little bit so we can just see a little more angles for when we start, uh, um, start shading it. Okay, boom. Okay, we have our spotlight. Uh, so, of course, it takes a little bit of setup, but once you start rotating things um, and getting things where you want them, uh, they actually start working pretty good. Render, go ahead, uh, change it to OpenGL Render, or whichever render you would like. Shading, or lighting, shadows. That's perfect. And then we'll go ahead and tweak, again, the spotlight a little more. And that's pretty good. Okay, then we'll go to controls, go to quadratic. This is the most uh, accurate light uh, lighting, if you want like realistic. Perfect. Pipe on that cane, cone angle. Okay, awesome. And then just so we can see things a little bit better, we're going to add a merge, and then a background, uh, background node. Make sure you pipe the background into the yellow and the render into the top. So this is what we have. Okay, give me two seconds, guys. I'm going to close the door all the way so uh, we don't hear Matt as much. That's my book. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like the door is shut all the way. He is one loud dude. <clears throat> okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and get into shading our mesh. So I've actually shaded this one before. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky uh, shading this because normally we use a cook torrent. This is what I use for any uh, time I'm trying to go for realism. Uh, always start with Cook Torrents, and if it's not all metal, if it's all metal, then I'll just stick to a blend. Um, so this is a car, uh, metal on the outside, uh, but it's painted, but it's kind of like a metallic paint. So you can try what you want. You can add a blend. I've actually shaded this one um, in the past, and I didn't like it with the blend. So I'm going to leave it with the Cook Torrents. We're going to add a Reflect. 
pipe that into the FPX mesh. And then we're going to load in our materials. So this is three scan car textures. Looks like we've got uh, four of them. Oh, sweet. Okay, I thought one of those was a displacement. Okay, awesome. Looks like we've got five of them. Perfect, so we're gonna shift space. Whoop. Add a loader. Go ahead to our 3D scan car, wherever that went. Textures, baked, red, then another loader. And then we'll just load them all right back in here. Uh, real quick, there's an occlusion map. So I normally stack it right here above uh, the regular diffuse map. Um, then we have our normals. I'll bring that down here. Add uh, another loader. It's got a roughness going. Uh, I'll put that up here. And then um, another loader. <coughs> loader. Hey, oh my goodness gracious. Can't spell today. Loader. And then specular. Okay, awesome. So uh, as you can see with our uh, car right here, there's not really much going on. I'm going to go ahead and minimize it. Not minimize it. Uh, I'm just single screen. That's what I'm doing. Zoom up. You can see. Uh, don't look the prettiest. Let's be honest here. It just doesn't look that good. Get better shadows. You'll actually move the uh, the light closer to it. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So real quick, we have our. Uh, actually, I will do two screen again. So we have our ambient occlusion, and we have our uh, base, our whatever it is, our diffuse. Okay, so we have our merge. Go ahead and pipe the occlusion into that. Go ahead and view it. You'll notice nothing's changed because we need to composite it over it. You do multiply. That's a good start. Sometimes I'll just pull the gain down, even blend it just a little bit. It depends on what I'm doing. Then go ahead and pipe it into the uh, yellow uh, diffuse color material. Then go down to the uh, baked normal. I keep saying baked because it says baked. But whenever I say baked, I think of something like a blender where the lighting is baked. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and add a butt map material. Butt map material. Butt map known. I'm going to pipe that into the uh, reflection color butt map and our cook torrents butt map. If you forget which thing is which, which I always do. Uh, whenever you hover over an arrow, it'll show up down here. Just keep that in mind. Um, nothing's happened. Let's go ahead and actually look at our material, um, which is kind of when it's super detailed like this, it can be a little bit difficult to see your uh, your material. Um, just keep a heads up on that. Change our height map. Change it to bump map. You can see that it changed. Even up here in our viewer, it's changing and looking good. I'm actually going to go to the spotlight. I'm going to pull that decay rate down. When we pull the decay rate down, uh, you can see that it brightens up the, uh, the scene right there. Or your car. Okay, so now we have a roughness, shift space, add a channel, booleans. Change the alpha to red or whatever channel you want. It just needs an alpha channel in there. Go ahead, pipe it into your roughness material, and you'll see that uh, it has been applied. Go like that. We have our specular. This one also needs a uh, channel booleans. And then this one is going to be a little bit different because I'll show you what I mean. Okay, boom. So we got a red. All right, this one into the specular color material. And you can actually also pipe it into the specular intensity. If you want, of course. I mean, you can always uh, just mess around and see what works best. But normally, adding brightness contrast with specular is a good idea so you can tweak things even more, um, pulling down the highs and lows, whatever. If you do that with the roughness, it works. But if you go like too shiny, then you start losing data and you get these uh, nasty, just like, like that. It's like all, you're losing data, so I'll just black right there. Um, just keep that in mind. Boom. Okay, so then we're also going to take our uh, specular and put it into our reflection intensity material. Now, you don't, with a specular, you don't always do this with a specular. When you're doing something like, um, if this thing had like a metal map, then I'd use the metal for uh, the reflect. I'd use it for the blend. Um, I'll use the blend for 
metal. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, again, just pipe things in, see what looks best. And uh, see, yeah, see what works for you. Okay, so that's looking good. So we've got everything piped in, it's looking good. Um, so what we're going to do with the reflect is we're going to add a background, a background node, and we're going to pipe that into our color um, just for this scene. If you have, if you're putting this in like an outdoor scene, then you might want to get like a, maybe a sphere map or just even pipe the scene into the reflection color. Let's do what works best for you. Okay. And now you can see that our car looks actually pretty good right here. Now if you do want to fix, we do zoom in and we see, um, you can't see it as much now, but we still have like these weird sort of jagged, um, jagged shadows. So what we do is we go to the merge, make sure you view it. This is the second viewer. And you see our light is actually pretty far away. We'll pull in like real close, real close. Let me just have to adjust the decay rate. Come up here, render, merge, merge, and tweak that spotlight. And then we get much better. Zoom in. You get better shadows. Kind of. What the nuts? I need to show. Let's see without it. Yeah, I'm up that. We're still getting crappy shadows. Um. There's more ways to fix that, but that will be for a different video. Um, this is just showing you how to, uh, a way you can shade things in here. Um, again, I did try the, the blend, and it just made things like too dark for me, um, slash shiny, and it just didn't quite look the same. So, um, so that is it for this video. I hope this kind of was a nice gateway slash intro video to uh, shading things. Um, obviously, 3D scan materials are the best when it comes to uh, realism, uh, but all, you can shade any 3D mesh in here. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, today, I, I do feel like I was a little more monotone, a little more boring. Um, and that's because, well, I had a early morning shift today. So, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And um, if you have any questions or any comments or concerns, go ahead and just... Uh, just drop those in the comments below. All right, we'll see you later, guys.